What up, world? It's your boy, Mark Walter Ward, Super Facts, Super Facts Network, Super Facts Show, excuse me. Today we got with us King Noah of Seven Kings Entertainment. Um, Just recently signed a, just an all-around deal with Cash Money, really. We'll, we'll, we'll let him explain that when we during the episode. But how you doing today, brother? Um, man, I'm doing pretty good, man. Um, I'm blessed, man. You no, know, blessed to be here. I'm blessed, you know, be on this side of the world. Um, uh, you know, and everybody on my account, we doing good. The family, my you know, seven king, rich gang, cash money for life. Man, bl- blessed to have some strong traps too. I know that motherfucking chain heavy as shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it is. That that that's a, that's a, that's a chunk. It is. That's the chunkiest one someone wore on an episode yet. Yeah. Yeah, you got, you got to know what you're doing when you wear this. You got to know what you're doing. Hey, you know, I I, I ain't going to lie. I, I feel like one day I'm going to have money for shit like that. And back in the day, I kind of did, but I, I ain't no shit. So I probably bought a bunch of monkey ass shit. But just out, yeah. just out of curiosity, what, what advice would you give someone to make sure that they're getting what they're paying for if, if they're copping a piece like that? First first of all, you know, you never take the the first, even though know, somebody says something, you know how you like with a car. When you buy a car, I tell you, do it with a car, a car, um, you know, like you check Carfax. So if you go to, a, you know, jeweler that you like, you want to buy a jewelry, do your research, do your due diligence, and make sure that the jeweler who you, who you, who you buy in jewelry for, that he respects you and respect your money that you're spending, and uh, that he won't try to play games with you. So you, you do, you do a credit check <laughs> on ver- verification, a verification on who you're buying jewelry from. You know, so. <laughs> That's number one thing to do. Then number two is go get your own appraisal from your own uh, person that can appraise your jewelry. That's word. number two. Word. Yeah. So in, in your bio, you're uh, labeled as a serial entrepreneur, and we'll get into some of your uh, more recent movements, but I'm curious, what, what was your first entrepreneurial venture? Man, when I was like seven years old, um, I started the can and pecan business, picking up pecans and cans, I mean, cans, recyclable uh, things, and go to the guy up the street, like 20 miles away from the town I was from. I was selling for like 25% more than what they were selling in my hometown. And so, you know, I was making hundreds of dollars a week back then, back in the 80s. That's a lot. That sounds like a lot of work, though. Man, you know, they say if a man don't work, he don't eat. I was always, I was, I was always tight there. Yeah, true indeed, true indeed. So then, when when did you start moving into like more? I don't, don't want to say legitimate because that's a, to me that's legitimate as hell doing something like that. But you know, like things that involve paperwork and stuff. Like, what was your first uh, quote unquote official business? Like, uh, you know, you had like an LLC or a physical a, location yeah. or something like that. I had a commercial commercial cleaning company. Commercial cleaning company franchise. I had a couple franchises. I had like contracts like with like TSA contracts with like uh like Chick fil A and stuff like that. Huh? Like that. Those aren't easy to get. Like for those for people for those who ain't in the know, those are highly competitive things. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. That was like I say, the favor the favor of the good man above I always had his hands on me. I was saying anything that I touched, you know, would be very prosperous. I, I, I just he been putting me in the right position, the right, the right connection, the right relationships. The right business partners, uh, just everything all, all across the board. What do you think uh, about you personally? Because, you you know, I've met a couple people like you, but to be honest with you, people like you are rare. Like most people would rather have the easy buck or when they get the first little flip, they, they waste it. Like, like what made you think you, not only uh, that you possess such on. an entrepreneurial spirit, but you have the ability to, to keep it going? Coming from Mississippi, you know, is a, uh, is, you know, we don't get those opportunities. And uh, when you get that opportunity, you got to make the best of it. Because, uh, you know, Mississippi is a very poverty state. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when you get a chance, when we get $2, we appreciate it. You know, and so I never, I always had my granddad always taught me, never live by your means. And so uh, I always, if I made $5, I spent 25 cents. I can dig so, it, bro. They, they say you'll never know what hung, you, you, you'll never uh, va- value food until you go hungry. That's that's a that's an honest guy, true. Yeah, yeah. 
But you know the the, yeah. the, th the thing that I'm really curious about is the medical. I'm, I know we're supposed to be talking about music. We'll get to that, y'all. I promise. But you you don't come across an individual like this too often. Tell tell me about yeah. the medical facilities. And, it's, and it says several medical facilities. I mean, I, I do a lot. I have surgery centers, um, physical therapy, uh, <coughs> uh, health facilities. You know, uh, general practice facilities. So I kind of did that. That got into that that business and. You know, God has been, you know, been blessing me like that. How do you um know how who to hire? Like, like, like if you if you drop me down into that, you know, I feel like I, I could probably, you know, study, do some of the logistics, find some of the people to delegate to. But like, like with no experience, how do you know like who's a good surgeon or not? Or you can tell it through the resumes. I I feel um, yeah, staffing agency. Okay. Just you know, you know, you use staffing agencies because everybody's always, you know, uploading resumes and staffing companies and always needing to hire. And one thing about the medical field, you know, it's never going nowhere. Yeah, true. True indeed. Hey, whenever that happens, brother, the, the, the video keeps going, it just turns black. So if you keep talking, we can still hear it. Hear you back. It's like it's like it's very low on when I take it out of my earpiece. Gotcha. Yeah. So then, you know, you, you, you're doing the medical things and, and I mean, just 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 a, a series of entrepreneurial ventures and a, a little bit over a year ago or a little bit less than a year ago, you decided to get into the music business. What, what, what motivated that? Uh, my sister, she we was sitting one day on a, on a patio or lake. Uh, this, this was probably like seven years ago, eight years ago. Uh, we always talking about music. She loved music and stuff. So she... Uh, like, no, you've been very successful in everything you touch. And, you know, we both love music. And I can see you, you know, being good in there. So I was like, it's always been a passion of mine just to help people. It wasn't strictly for the music because I didn't care about the music. I always cared about helping people. And when you, when you in the entertainment world, it's a lot of people that want to share their story or what they've been through because of you know, creativity that they have in their mind. And if you, if you can't put it on platforms or get around interviews and put it to the world, nobody will know your testimony. So when we was talking about the entertainment company, I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and go uh, and start entertainment company because I have been very good in everything, other business that I had. So that's the reason why I wanted to start that. So pretty much uh, kind of like me and my sister came up with that and just, we just ran with it. So that, 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 that's what's up. Just out of curiosity, did uh, since y'all are both music fans, did y'all listen to did y'all listen to uh, Crooked Letters? Crooked Letters, M I, tell me, uh, yeah, M I, I S S I, yeah, yeah, we listened to that. Well, I mean, the group, you know, that was a group. It was David Banner, and forgive me for not yeah, remembering. Yeah, 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 yeah. DV, and I can't remember yeah. the other dude's name, but uh, man, man, that album yeah, was yeah, it, it had, it had pimp, in that thing. It had Pimp C on it. It had uh, Nori from yeah. Drink Champs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course, not. yeah. Yeah, my sister, she loved David Banner. <laughs> Man, I, I paid yeah. $100 for that CD. That shit got one of the best <laughs> Pimp C verses ever, and the Noriega hook is ridiculous. But, but you know, mm -hmm. I, I, I collect shit like that. But before it got too out of hand, I had, like, every every jump Pimp C ever appeared on. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, so, so I can tell you love your music. Say what? I can tell you love your music. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. East Coast, West Coast, South, non-rap, all that good shit, punk rock. You know, they say good. I mean, I, I ain't gonna say I'm no musician, but good musicians like good music. So, you know, I mean, I, I like the new Adele shit. I ain't go front. I, I like the new kids on the block That's reunion when they, was, when they was wearing white outfits. What happened? Hello. 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 I only, the only way I can hear you when I'm on my earpods. Airpods. Oh, it's all good. So you, you get you get into the to the music industry. You start a Seven Kings label. You got merch and all that stuff. You sign some artists. So how do you link up with Cash Money? Mm -hmm. Man, the link up with Cash Money was uh is actually what you just told me. Say the jewelry, we had the same jeweler. Ah, so, so one of my jewelers was like, "Hey, man, you remind me of Stone." I said, "Huh." <laughs> He said, yeah, he said, well, y'all got the same kind of taste. I said, for real? I said, yeah. He said, oh, you started to come. He said, man, I think that'd be a good person y'all link up with. So my jeweler, he connected us together. He connected connected me with, with Stunner. 
And from there, you know, it was just a building relationship for over right before the, this is right before the pandemic. We had been talking, just talking as, as friends. And uh, that's how, the, how, how it started. Right there, then, you know, I, I had some amazing talent on the roster. Uh, and so he just, uh, he like, just keep grinding and keep grinding and keep grinding. And then one day, uh, maybe like in February, somebody like that, he hit me up and said, hey, man, I'm going to send this paperwork over. Uh, you know, so, so uh, that's how it comes. That paper came through email, and we sat down. Me and my family team, you know, you know, I, I just when we, when we, when what I felt in my heart, what I wanted to do. I feel like in my heart, I was a cat. I was a cash money meeting now from my, from the age of seven. So I can so, dig it. I can dig it. So, you, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. So y'all went y'all went over the paperwork, and and, and this is a perfect place for me to ask this question i i, I feel like baby is underappreciated um misunderstood um you know you know you, you hear that shit about him not paying artists but with very few exceptions it seems like all those artists go back to him so i think a lot of the times it was like an attention issue as opposed to a money issue and uh Man. I, I i just think that he doesn't get his just due for his contributions to the culture um the upliftments he makes in people's lives i mean I, I talked to Turk a little bit. Turk is, is, is more than happy with him. And uh yeah. what 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 you know from you dealing with him and then being aware of his public persona, nice. what 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 what's the differences? Man, let me tell you about my stunner, man. I don't call him baby, I call him stunner. You see? Him? See one thing about stunner, if he tell you something, it's gonna happen. It's for real. But a lot of times people don't like to trust the process. Right. Everything that Stunner told me, he did. Everything Slim said, he did. And like I told you from the beginning, it's seven kings, cash money, a rich game, or nothing. And I stand on that. And I'm a, I'm a big business person. So if I feel like it was any shady business, anything that was going on with us, I, I, I'm smart enough and have the resources enough not to get in a situation that, that don't, is not beneficial to me or my artists. But everything that he said he was going to do with me, he did and he's doing it. And you know, like we just we just started. And yeah, nah, yeah, nah, bro. Like, like like I said, I think I think it's a myth. You know, I I think it's yeah. like like a narrative. I don't think that's just true. Yeah. You know, like I just say, man, and you know, even with, with my all G is so fat, you know, he told me, you know, stone is all he say, keep him alive, stay out of trouble. Me stay alive, stay out of trouble. And he said, we're going to be the biggest. The world going to know us. The world going to know us. I, I, I believe so, it. I mean, I, I, I could tell from the uh, language and the press releases for the for the GSO Fat music that uh, he, he's a big believer. Yeah. Like, like, he don't just be saying yeah. that type shit. Like, you can read between yeah. the lines when people came to Young Money or whatever, who he was more and less excited about. And uh, oh, G, yeah. GSO Fat, he, he getting the, uh, he, he, he getting the yeah. real good, he, get, he getting the real good quotes. Yeah, I mean that being said, though he dope as shit. You know, I, I ain't had a chance to listen yeah. to the rest of the roster because I ain't gonna lie, hey. I got hung up off. I got hung up on fat and uh, kept, hey. and, and, you know, you know on Spotify they got the little popular tracks. Man, mm -hmm. man, I, I put that shit on repeat for like like uh, next. Week. It's like it's like even hey. I clean the house. We got so much music with just so fat that we haven't released. How he sound last year? He don't sound like that. Like man, we got. We got some, we got some real big stuff, man. Just waiting on this rollout plan with uh, what they what they plan on doing with them. But it's gonna be on a major, major, major scale, man. Hey, man, y'all just stay tuned to what Seven Kings and Cash Money Rich Game got going on. You know, you know how they say, you know, when you solid for so long, when you come out, it's like a giant to come out. Yeah, yep. So you know, so that's what we've been doing, working and putting things together, and you know, just paying our dues and paying, you know, just just. Sucking up all, I'm sucking, sucking up all the game from Slim. I'm See, I, up it all. I, I, I want to ask you about Slim. You know, he real quiet, and I, I don't know if he's trying to get in nobody's business, but uh, I always had the impression that, that, that he's got a, a degree of wisdom to him. Like, 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 like he seemed like somebody who, who might say, like, one thing all day, but that, that thing you'll be thinking about for five days. So, so I'm just curious, uh, can you think of anything profound or a good piece of uh, advice uh, or anything he gave you? Uh. Oh, Slim, the best advice he tell me is keep doing what you're doing because obviously you're sitting next to me. Ty, 
That's what he said. He said, keep doing what you're doing because you're sitting next to me. Hey, that's some yeah, G shit. That's a humble brag. Why be in a flex? Why be in some good advice? Yeah, he was just saying, whatever you're doing, keep doing what you're doing because you're sitting next to me. Yeah, I mean, and you shit. know, he, who, what's the bit? Who, who, who don't want to learn from somebody like him? Yeah, no bullshit. You know, <laughs> you know, just look at the roster. Who all they, who all they had their hands on over the years, who everybody touched. It ain't, it ain't nobody in the industry. There's very few people that came in this entertainment industry that Slim and Baby ain't somewhat blessed them and put yeah. their hand on. So for me to be right there within 24 months, within two years, I'm right there sitting next to them. Not just on no phone, but I'm at their house, you know. And, uh, just soaking it all up. And, you know, I've been in the game 20, 20, less than 24 months, and, and I'm already here with, with some of the elite, some of the great ones, you know. You know, from Slim, J Print, Everybody in the games. I, I seen Russell Simmons last night. So it's just, I'm, I'm blessed, man. That's all I can say. I'm blessed. Man, congratulations. Yeah. That, 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 that should sound awesome. But, uh, you know, we got to make sure yeah. we, we give the artists some shine. Who, who else is on 7K? Man, right now, you know, GSO fan, Tohe, uh, I got Young Al. Uh, they're the main artists right Yo, there. Young Al. I, 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 I listen to some Young Al. Young Al's dope, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, young know, guy. He he got that. He, he got that flow. He got that that heartfelt music. They come from the come from the from the from the, from the track. He come from the old side of the track. But well, young know, guy is, is is great. It's great. Shit, I like the yeah. other side of the track. I feel more at home around that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, so- I, I, I can tell you. You know, you 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 know a lot. You've been around. I can tell you a little bit, little bit. Hey, hey, hey. I'm- I'm I'm curious though, like all, all, all these things always be some, you know, what you did, what all that type shit. But I'm I'm curious about you as a person. Like like, what what would you say you and outside of like spending time with family or anything? Like, what would you say your number one leisure time activity is? Man, I'm gonna be honest. I don't have no leisure activity. I don't have right now. I don't have no leisure activity because I was just sitting with my girl, and my sister, and they were just talking to me about I got so much going on. I don't have, I don't have time for myself. And there's no days off of me because I feel like when you're trying to, like I said, you asked me five years ago, I was just saying, you know, I just feel like for the last really 10 years, I've been trying to build an empire, generation wealth. And so I just been grinding and grinding and grinding. Like, watch now, I'm in LA. This is supposed to be leisure time. What I'm doing right now? Word, I can dig it. I'm, I'm working. You know what I'm saying? So there's no days off. And I feel like when you are, a serious entrepreneur, like you said earlier, you have no days off. You take minutes off. Let me take two hours just to sit in the restaurant, put my phone down, and answer my phone and eat and have a good conversation. But soon with that, soon with them, that, that over with, the, the mother five phones you have, they ring, you know, somebody calling for this, somebody calling for that. Just, just, just pay attention to your great ones and see how they move. Every time they moving or doing something, they got five or six phones or assistants right there, you know, doing something. You know, you, you have no days. I don't care. You know, they love to say you got to take some time and do this and do that. But I don't believe you had a time to do that when you're trying to build a hundred, two hundred million dollar company. I don't think you had a time. Think about it. Forty hours a week. Somebody go to work for twenty dollars an hour, forty hours a week, right? They come home. Their time is limited. Man, I better got time to take my son or kid to uh, AA basketball practice. Just think about it, working a forty hour job. Just imagine you're trying to build a hundred million dollar, two hundred million dollar company with your time, like yeah, it's very, it's very, it's, it's, it's no days off. You working? I, I I could dig it. Um, well, I mean, if that's the case, so like 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 like, hopefully you you get you get a little bit of exercise in. Oh yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get my cardio in because I'm a big guy anyway, so I'm gonna always try to, to get some cardio in, like like get up at like six thirty. I do my little thirty minute on treadmill or something. Okay, that, that, that's good because you know those you, you, you CEO cats that do all them hundred hour weeks. You know y- y- y'all just need a little bit of exercise and get, make keep that heart right because if, if you don't, yeah. like all that stress can get to you. <laughs> man, man, man! I'm telling you, this I know confirmation. But you just said then, me and my girl were just talking about that. She was just telling me that she just my help. She wanted me to start getting a proper sleep, resting, and. Eliminate some of the phones, and we were just saying that, like literally, 
while we try to get this Zoom call together. <laughs> we're hey, just saying it. Hey, some people care about you, and some people care about what they can get out of you. You know what I mean? For real. Yeah. Um. Yeah, for real. I, I'm curious about this though. So five phones, all that other stuff. How do you avoid being irritated? Like, like, like I could never live that life. Like I might have the work ethic, I might have the drive, but, but, but I start getting I, irritated with motherfuckers, and they won't want to deal with me. Man, you know how I try to avoid the irritation? Yeah, I try to like let no negative energy come in. So when I feel like it's going against my principles or what I believe or what I stand on, I tune it out and I I don't remove myself or I completely hear something else in the head. You know, besides what they're saying. Could be sitting there listening to you, but I'm checked out. You see? Because if you let anything come in inside and get into your mind, then this is gonna affect you regardless of if you don't want to. So the best way to keep it from affecting you is don't let it get in. Don't let no negative energy get in. And you gotta put up blocks. You gotta put up blocks. What about when they be incompetent though? Because like a lot of times, you know, music, I've noticed a lot of musicians yeah. ain't always the best at dealing with like day-to-day -day life. When we deal with these uh, musicians and artists, uh, like sometimes they can, they mind say, be like, did you just really do that or say that? Yeah. And you know, the best thing to do is, you know how you eat that little birdie on your side? Like, mm -hmm. Lord, help me get, Lord, help me get through this. Now, I, I call on a good man a lot, man, in his industry. Yeah, I call on him a lot. He, he hear me, so I guess he protect me and protect my energy and stuff like that. I mean, that, that, that's a beautiful thing. I mean, just this brief interaction, I can tell that you live off a model of abundance, and, and I, I feel that it, yeah. uh, over time, like, you know, I, I don't try to enforce beliefs on nobody, whether you call it God, the universe, karma, anything. You know, I feel I like you, you, yeah. you, you get back what you put in. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know being out here creating jobs for people. You know, like everybody always wants to talk bad about rappers and rap companies, but uh, I, I don't think that they understand how many, how many jobs they generate. Like if, they, if you might not like the content, but you know, it's people yeah. talking about their reality while they're also taking people out of that reality, not just themselves. Mm -hmm. And if you got a problem with that, then basically kick rocks. Man, Man just imagine that night, we had probably about four or five limos going last night. Out the parties, we had so much going on last night. Imagine how many people benefited last night. <laughs> yeah, you know, caterers, all that good shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, and 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 and, and the pandemic out in California, and, and you know the restrictions on work, people need that. I mean, that, that that's doing a good thing. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, most definitely. Um, well, bro, I, I definitely want uh. To be honest with you, you, you interesting as, as fuck, but it's hardly shit wrote about you. So, it, it wasn't. man, you know what? I know I've been I've been always on the back end, but now I'm gonna come to the to the to the forefront, and you know the world gonna see it. You know, because uh, definitely, you, you only can keep a uh, the sun only stay down for so long that eventually gonna come up and it's gonna shine. You know, so that's kind of like well, man. You know, just think about before QC, before you know. Uh, you know, he came somewhere, you know, the world didn't hear about QC at first, you know. So it just take, I tell you, take one song. Word. I mean, I remember yeah. when Scooter Braun was Asher Roth manager before that Justin yeah. Bieber shit, you know. Okay. Yeah. So so it's only take one. And when that one go, then the world will hear about you. Then there be some jewels you have already. Man, I was, I was there before, before that, you know. So keep this, 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 uh, it's gonna go down in history, man. Sure, because I, I, you know, I, I, I built this coming out of love. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can tell. I believe it, bro. Like, um, I, I, I definitely want to do more episodes and check in down the road. Um, I look forward to supporting everybody Appreciate on your it. roster, and uh, you know, thank you, you. You have an excellent publicist, so I look forward to uh, doing shows with each and every one of your artists. Because you know, I, yeah. I, I, I ain't one of them people that like. You gotta have a certain amount of streams or whatever. If somebody wanna rock right. with me, I wanna rock with them and I like good music. For real. I mean, I mean you do it from the heart. Oh, most definitely, most definitely. Yeah. I mean, you know, you know how many ads I turned down? Like I, I ain't reading no yeah. fucking phone or pill ads or none of that stupid shit that they be having on podcasts. You know what I mean? I, I ain't gonna ask you to follow me, none of that shit. If you like my shit, yeah. fuck with me. If not, 
There's plenty of other good shit to listen to. You feel me? It is what it is. Yes, sir. Um, yeah. hey, wh- wh- where's the website they can go to get some of that merch? Man, Seven Kings merch. You know, and sevenkings.com. When you get in there, it, it leads you. You go through the town, it leads you to the Seven Kings merch the website. Let me make sure I pull up on my other phone the right one. So, but it, it'll definitely. Uh, is it seven with a number or seven with a uh, spelled out? It's a, hold on one second. I'm going to tell you what I mean. It's a. Uh, <clears throat> While he doing that, I, I, I took I took a, a, a hit of a vape that I was not I was not fucking expecting. <laughs> Yeah, it, it got it, it, it got you. Uh, yeah. Well, I swear to God, you smoke some Zaza. <laughs> yeah. I want to, but that in Florida, man, the med- the, the the legal weeds like medical shit, and they got a monopoly. It ain't a bunch of brands to choose from. It ain't like California. Yeah. yeah so, so you, you say you're from Tampa, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I live I live yeah. just outside of Tampa. My wife's in laws are here. I I, I hate this mm-hmm. motherfucker. It's it's MAGA yeah. country. Yeah, I, um, yeah, I got, I stay in Miami too as well. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I make it down there for like Art Basil, my, the best man at my wedding lived down there. So I got like a nice little crib I can always yeah, go to. Yeah, that was like, like last week or week before last, right? Something like a couple weeks ago, right? Yeah, I, I didn't go this year, but. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was there last week. I ain't got front to you, bro. Sometimes Miami be a little much. I don't got nothing against gay people or none of that shit. Never did, never have, you know. But uh, I, I take my son down there, and he's like three, and it's like my first time going to Miami with him, right? And and, mm-hmm. and they're having this like wild ass gay parade. Like this shit took over all the Collins, all the beach. Man, these Bamas got fucking. I I, I ain't never even seen shit like this. You know, like those double decker buses they have in London and shit. Did, mm-hmm. these, these Bamas had like double decker vans that had like strip pole rods on top of it, and it was like wow. dudes. It was like dudes with, with like g strings and thongs and shit. And my son's like four, and like I, well, you know about Miami, but for those who don't know, like the the on Collins, the uh, the restaurants got outdoor eating, so like the sidewalks narrow as a motherfucker, and and then like all that parades right there, and it's like two feet away from me. And, and my son is like freaking the fuck out because it's like motherfuckers with fairy wings and I, I don't know. I say never seen no shit like that. And, and like off the no bullshit, they, they were straight up popping off. Mm-hmm. You, you know what I mean? And I mean, I know we supposed to be tolerant and everything, but I mean, I guess I could have read the paper, but I was not prepared for my four year old son to see that shit. And if it had been a bunch of straight people, I would have had the same feelings. It had nothing to do with them being gay. But. But that, yeah. that 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 was some shocking ass shit. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Like 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 a gay a gay parade in Miami is a motherfucker. Like the one in DC ain't compare. Wow. Yeah. Well, the website is Seven King Merch. Spelled out S E V E N Merch M E R C H dot com. I, I'll definitely put the link in there. Y- y- y'all should check it out. That that it's yeah. a little bit. Uh, I I I could tell you getting good cut and good fabric and all that shit. You ain't getting like oh the, yeah, oh, no. that you can't wash once. No, I, I I pull the I pull the right yeah. I'm gonna spend I'm gonna spend money on the right on the right one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, it come it come back in the long run, right? I mean, that, that that's part of like I, I feel like any successful entrepreneur don't try to skimp at the beginning unless they have a low budget. Unless you have a budget, yeah. But I ain't gonna lie, I I, I, I did I didn't want to come out. I wanted to come the right way. Oh yeah, that quality, man. Once you get that the lack of quality attached to your name, it's hard to get it off, you know. Yeah. Everywhere we go, we was a, uh, we was what you call them. We was uh, at, you know, at the concert last night. Somebody stopped us in the middle of the concert and said, "Hey, you know, I want what's what's your website? I want to buy that. We like that. They seen on my girl, <laughs> and uh, his his old lady was like, man, I want I want to purchase some of that. Shit, yeah. that's what's up, man. Y- 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 y'all finna be killing it. Well, I mean, th- thank you for your time, bro. Um. Yeah. Like I said, I wish you nothing but success. And uh, before we get out of here, please shout out all the websites, uh, socials, yeah. anything they need to go so, to. Social Seven Kings E N T. That's my IG. Sevenkings.com is my. Um, that's my um, a website and my merch is Seven Kings. You know, spelled out S E V E N K I N G S merch M E R C H dot com. If you want to purchase any merch, I mean, uh, that's where we at right there. And, and all those links will be in the show notes and in the Dirty Glove Bastard post. Well, like I said, brother, thank you for your time. And uh, let me know if you need anything.
Hey, appreciate the love, man. Family, shout out. No doubt, man. You take it light. All right, one.